angrily looked at Jokko, who was standing with his face down. You can see his hand clenched into a fist and his jaw tightened. He had anger in his eyes. But right now your mind was not working straight. You just let your actions follow your moves. Your chest was going up and down in anger while he hold his cheeks where you slapped him. Jerk. It's all but come out from your mouth. He looked at you and you can see his eyes burning in anger. Tears all to your eyes as you had enough of holding everything. You both get married few months ago. This marriage was arranged by your parents to build trust and loyalty in their business. Maybe that's the reason there is always a missing part of trust in both of your relations. The marriage is better than you both even thought. Not much love but you both still care for each other and your actions show that all. You both argue often but this time it's different. You both never had such a serious argument. You just find out even when he told you not to. You just want to meet some of your friends but didn't know that he is hiding you from his enemies as he don't want to make you a part of his this dirty game. He don't want to risk your life in this mafia world but without knowing anything you walked out alone without cards and that's from where the fight started. You were so sorry for what you did but when he talked about divorce you couldn't help and stabbed him in front of everyone. He punched the ball making you flinch. You looked at him and this time you only see anger in his eyes, nothing else. His knuckles started to bleed but his whole focus was on you as if you hurt him more than the wound he got right now. That is the first and the last time. You are crossing your limits. What the hell you are doing in my house? If you hate me so much, why the hell you even married to me when you just want to get rid of me? And when I'm ending it already, why the hell you care? His voice was happy but still hurtful. He wiped your tears and looked away. Never expect me to come back. He said and left from there. You wipe your tears and end up crying. Everyone feels bad for you to there, but couldn't able to do anything. You come downstairs and look at the whole mansion but you didn't find even a trace of Jungkook. In the morning when you got up there also the other side of the bed was untouched. That means he never walked in the room after you fight. Being a mafia he always take wrong step of hurting himself or the others if they do something which he don't like. And that's the reason you always got worried if you didn't see him all safe. You walk in the kitchen and saw Mary, your maid, making the breakfast. But she only saw one place. Where is Jungkook? Mary, where is Jungkook? She looked at you and smiled, but this time you didn't smile back. You are not in the mood to smile. Oh, you are already awake. I was just coming to wake you up. I already saw breakfast for you have it. What about Jungkook? You didn't make breakfast for him. Well, when I come here in the morning, Sam told me to make food for you only. So I did. I have no idea where is Mr. John. He was not here when I arrived. He is out for some work. You don't have to worry. You look back and saw Sam walking in the kitchen and directly walking towards the fridge. Taking out a water bottle, he cut the water. You were looking at him with a little tears in your eyes. Where is he? He leaves for the office early today because of an important meeting. He never come back home after our fight. You made correction in a sentence which he accepts silently. You ran both of your hands through your hair and let out a deep breath frustrated. You don't have to worry about him. Have your food. Just want to know if he is okay or not. He is all fine, just need some break and I think you also need a break. John Jungkook, you asked nervously to a girl who was looking at you a little lost as if she is trying to remember your face. Her dark brown orbs perfectly scanning your whole body. Her blonde hair that were perfectly appear to be danced with the light breeze. Suddenly she smiled. You might be Vyan, right? John Vyan? You were little shocked at how she knows you but you slightly nodded your head. Her beautiful smile grew wider and she bowed at you politely. You were still confused by her behavior. 
Well, if any chance you don't know me, then I'm Lily, Mr. John's personal assistant. Curling your mouth in O shape you nodded. Right. How you know about me? As much as I know that I never visited the office before. It's my first time and neither we meet out somewhere. She smiled again. Well, who doesn't know you? Boss never get tired to talk about you. His smile grew wider whenever he heard your name, but I saw your photo on the working table of Mr. John. You are exactly the way you were looking in that wedding frame, too cute to handle. You smiled shyly looking down. Well, I'm going that way. If you want, then I can drop you to your house. It's not safe out for you. And also, Sir is not in the office. He is out of the town for the morning and I think it might take him time. You should go back home now. It's okay. I just need something from the convenience store. That's why I'm here. And for the help, but I'm okay. She smiled and nodded and again bowed at you. You also bowed a little. It's really nice to meet you and I hope we will meet more often. Just visit some other days too. It's nice to meet you too. Well, I think it's going to be rain soon. The wind is so cold. You should go back home as soon as possible. I will inform you if I heard anything from boss. You nodded. She waved at you and ran towards her car. Your eyes followed her and stopped at your bodyguard. He looked at you with sword and face, but you pressed your lips together. I'm going to buy something for you from the store. Just wait inside the company building. And yes, rain is about to start. So take the decision quickly what you want to do. Stay here or should we go home? He shouted as he was standing a little far from you. You nodded slightly. Checking everything, he ran towards the convenience store. You look up at the sky and a heavy raindrop fall on your face. Rain started but instead of going inside you sat on the squatting position there and tears rolled to your eyes, mixing with the rain. Your whole clothes dense in the rain. You already made your mind that you are not going to leave from here until you meet him. Going to get angry or maybe just simply going to say sorry. Or maybe if you get angry, going to make him say sorry to you. But this time you made your mind that from here you are going back home only with him. Even if it takes forever. Your bodyguard come back bringing hot chocolate for you but his eyes widened when he saw you sitting in the rain, drenching all in the rain. Signing heavily, he took out an umbrella from the car and ran to you. But his face stopped when he saw a car stopping just in front of you. You closed your eyes because of the front light of the car directly fell on your face. Light switch off and the door opened, making your eyes get more teary. Without thinking twice, you got up and ran to the person. Wrapping your arm around his face, you press your bo wet body with his warmth and hide your small figure in his arms. He looked at you a little confused but wrapped his arm around you when he feels your body shivering under him. Circling on your back, he tried to keep you warm. Your tears flow down with the rain and his heart also reaches seeing you like this. His eyes struggled to his bodyguard who was looking at both of them while holding the umbrella they didn't care of. You hugged him tightly as if your grip loosened and he is again going to disappear. Only one day without him and your heart already started to beat harder. Then how he expects that you will live without him after divorce? Why again? I'm sorry, I'm really sorry but please don't leave me like this. I was so scared. Your voice come out as a whisper which was barely audible to him too but somehow he managed to figure out what you were saying. Wrapping his arm tightly he pressed you more closer in his chest when you started to sob on his chest. Your soap get louder making you choke with your own saliva. He softly placed a kiss on your forehead and patted your back. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry but look I'm not going anywhere now. I'm all with you forever. He said pulling you deep and deeper in his arms. 
your soap suddenly get low and then disappear. He stay there giving you time to calm while your grip around him also loosens. He took a deep breath looking at the sky as the rain is getting heavier. Breaking the hug a little, he looked at you and your eyes already closed. Getting tired of everything, you fainted. He picks you up and walks towards the car. Your bodyguard opens the door for him and softly placing you on the passenger seat, he buckles your seat belt and drove towards the mansion. I didn't do this intentionally. When I reached at the office, they told me to attend an important meeting. And then you know about my mission. I was so angry on you that's why I didn't inform you. But when my anger goes down, I try to contact you, but network issue. After that, I forgot about informing. I'm sorry to give you the hard time and also sorry for how I behaved with you last night. I didn't mean that either, but I was so scared. The world you are changing yourself in is not good. And if I didn't hide you from these cool people, then you might end up getting hurt because of me and I don't want this. You are the first precious thing I got in my life and I don't want to leave you. While explaining his side of you, he reached at the mansion. Here, take this. You look up and smile slightly, taking the cup of coffee from Jungkook. He fixed your blanket on your shoulder and sat beside you on the stairs. Taking a deep breath, you looked at the friend. You already had changed and take a hot bath, but your body is still shivering. Feeling the warmth of the hot coffee through cup, your body feels relaxed. You took a deep breath. I'm sorry for slapping you. I shouldn't have to. At least not in front of others. He slowly turned his face to you, but you were still looking at friend, focusing on the shining star. Taking a deep breath again, you again try to explain your point of view, hoping that he will understand you. My mom and dad get nervous when I was four. Since that day, I always become a middle piece of them. Six months with dad and the remaining with mom. Neither of them want to live without me. But I never want to live like that. They never understand this feeling of mine. And maybe they can't force themselves to live together and love each other because of me. It's hard, right? And when you suddenly bring the topic of getting divorced, I was so shocked. I couldn't able to think properly and slapped you. That was completely unintentional. It's okay, you don't have to give explanation to me when I was the one with mistake you. I shouldn't have to shout it on you like that. But I was so scared, you know. It's really a different world you are still unaware of. I want you to keep safe and when you got out, I got scared. Now everyone got to know about you. You think it's simple to go out and enjoy. But you never know how many eyes were there on you scanning your every information. It's really hard to live in my world. You both again went silent after explaining both of your side of you. You took a deep breath and blew the coffee. You took a long sip of it to warm your body and a beautiful smile crept on your face by the taste of the coffee. I don't like hot coffee, but I have to say that you have magic in your hands. It's so tasty. Thank you. You looked at him and smiled again. Suddenly your eyes caught the place on his chest. Right now it's covered with the thick clothes but you still remember that you saw your name tattooed there. You always want to ask him about that but still never get courage. Now you just leave the reason behind the tattoo a mystery because you want to feel special every time you glance at him and if you get to know the reason you will feel lucky not grateful to have him in your life. Letting the thing to your sleep away, you keep on staring at him. Jungkook looks at you and your soft eyes meet his dark orbs. For a second, you get lost in those eyes, but feeling shy, you looked away. He chuckled. You never thought that someone will ever make you feel that way. You never thought that someone will make you crave for him even when he is with you. Even when he is sitting beside you, you miss him. You never thought that anyone could ever make you feel shy just by that one look of him. You slowly looked at Jungkook and his eyes were still on you, making your face turn tint pink. Are you okay, Yen? Your face is getting red. Are you feeling hot? 
You shook your head slightly and looked away, running your cold palms all over your face. He admired your cute action with a soft smile, almost forgetting the fact that he is the reason behind your nervousness. You know, today's day is so special. You said looking at him, holding your heart in your hands and managing yourself to meet his dark ops, which were still staring at you. But as soon as hearing your words, they got a little confused. You can see his brown friends. Just a sudden urge to touch his face suddenly raised in your heart, but you somehow hold yourself. And how so? You think for a while before saying anything, but a smile that never leaves your face stands more beautiful when you take out your sweat from your mouth. Because today I got to know that this marriage is not a contact anymore. And just like yours, his heart also skipped beats. He stayed there processing your words. Is it confession? You quickly looked away and smiled. No matter how hard you try, not to look crazy while smiling, but this happiness is not ready to leave your face. Biting your lower lips, you answer him back. I don't know, I just used my word to express my feeling. Now it's up to you how you want to take these words. If it's a confession, then it's yours from my side. This marriage is not a contact anymore. And your stomach flip hearing his words. You even don't know what's happening to you today. Is it his words or you are feeling cold? That your words, mind and heart, everything is shivering. No matter how hard you try to stable everything together, but nothing works. Right now, you just want to dig a hole for yourself and hide there for some time. You never knew that an indirect confession also makes the heart crazy. Then what's going to happen when you both finally fall in love with each other and going to confess? Your coffee? You looked at him and he pointed at the coffee in your hand. You nodded and took a sip of the coffee and it made your raised heartbeat a relaxed. Jungkook? He looked at you and you gave him a light sweet smile. Thank you for protecting me. He smiled a little too, nodding his head. I'm going to protect you for the world, but who's gonna protect you for me?